So another and you know I don't know if overpressure is the right word for this because what what happens here in the central what's called centroid effect is if you have some uh, sand formation, some highly permeable sand formation, not necessarily sand, but you say highly permeable so that the, the uh, pore pressure increases in that region hydrostatically, right? If it's in a completely sealed shell re uh, layer and tilted in some way, well, the, the, the pressure in the, in the shale will increase at approximately lithostatic approximately close to the vertical stress. Um, but in the sand, where it's well connected, then you'll have uh, an area of pore pressure that increases hydrostatically. Right? And the, area, the point where, where they meet each other is called the centroid, so this, this point at the center. Right? And anything above the centroid will be in a state of overpressure with respect to the surrounding material, right? So this, this sand, I mean, it, it's just increasing at hydrostatic, right? So normally the definition of overpressure is greater than hydrostatic, right? Well, the pressure in the sand is still increasing hydrostatically, right? But with respect to the, it's overpressure with respect to what's next to it, right? Because this is increasing lithostatically, and then you have this region that's increasing hydrostatically. So we're sort of um, tweaking our definition of the word overpressure in this case. I don't really like that. But nevertheless, these are very important because if you're drilling, you know, if you're drilling along in this shale, what's going to happen when you hit that sand? You're going to get a kick, right? So it's important to, you know, in that case, it is an overpressure scenario or, uh, from the perspective of the drilling. Because you're drilling into something that's much higher pressure than what you were in. So in the centroid effect, remember it's it's you know overpressure. It doesn't necessarily mean higher than hydrostatic. It just means higher than what's around it. So there are other mechanisms. These are sort of second order effects. So you could have temperature increase due to radioactive decay. Um, just you know, radioactive decay uh, that's ongoing everywhere in the earth. Uh, that, that can in increase the, the temperature a little bit. And then you can also have upward heat flow from the mantle, right? But that, these are very slow processes. Diffusion, you know, heat diffusion is a very slow process. And so uh, if, if this occurs, it's, it's, it's secondary to the other things we've talked about, right? And then you can also have Hydrocarbon, you know, hydrocarbon generation can cause if you already have a completely sealed, um, if you already have a completely sealed reservoir, and there's still active thermal maturation going on, right? It's creating new hydrocarbons. Then that's going to, you know, you're basically putting new fluid into a sealed reservoir. Then that's going to cause the pressure to go up. This is also typically, you know, secondary to the other things that we talked about. 